to look at our children and laugh and talk about they have their pants down. But our minds are down when we fail to do for our children what others are doing for theirs. Now, I don't want to be too negative, but we got to stop blaming white folk. No, 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 listen. Stop blaming Koreans. Stop blaming the Japanese. Stop blaming the Indians from India. We must take on the responsibility to do what everyone else is doing. And that is to love one another, respect one another, teach a good gospel, not just a gospel that will get us somewhere up in heaven by and by after we die. But we need the same thing that these white business owners have here. Dreams construction, scrubs construction, Langdale, Strickland's and others, Edgar Roberts and other professional people, we need the same thing that others need. And it is indeed time for the religious community to stand up on the principle of creating jobs. Let's stop blaming the white man. Don't blame the white man, blame the black man. Blame yourself, blame your mother, your father, your sisters and your brothers fail to create jobs for black people and white people. And by the way, let us, let us thank white people for creating jobs for us, for giving us all the food that we buy, all the automotive vehicles that we buy. Let's thank them for using our dollars because we refuse to use our dollars to take care of our children and they are taking our money to take care of their children. Don't blame the Indians for setting up convenience stores in your community. It's your responsibility to set up convenience stores in others' community so you can take some of their money to send your children to Harvard, to Albany State, to wherever it may be. But let us stop blaming other people and start blaming ourselves. The black African American often talk about going to heaven, living in paradise with angels flying around and walking the streets paved with gold. But what do your pastor tell you? What do your religious tell you about this bread and the hundreds of thousands of dollars that will come to Valdosta and Lyons County? How much are you going to get? How will your children benefit and profit from all these hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars? How can you sit under a religious leader? How can you sit under a religious leader? How can you sit under a religious leader here in Valdosta, Lowndes County, Quitman, Brooks County, and throughout South Georgia, and they never say nothing? to your children about doing what others do. 
We all want to go to heaven. Even a fool want to go to heaven and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But what are we doing? Can we take a vacation to Atlanta or to Paris or to Senegal in Africa or to Timbuktu? You can't, but they can because they use your dollars and the job dollar that your children should benefit from because you fail to do anything outside of what's recorded in the Bible. And so the two major businesses here in Valdosta in 2013 is churches and funeral homes. Churches and funeral homes. And when you find a black man in business, too often, we walk past his business or her business. We walk past them. So I'm out here today to let you know that as a follower of Jesus Christ, all the religious preachers are not backing up. Some of us, some of us, some of us must tell the truth because Jesus said, and ye shall know the truth, and that the truth shall set and make you free. So I'm not here to criticize. I'm saying to you that our children will not stop wearing their pants down. They will not stop acting less than human beings until we as parents stand up and give the best from the brain cells in our head to make things better for them. And so let's not come condemn others for doing what we need to do. Let us step up to the plate of the religious community and do what needs to be done. Once again, this is kbci.blogspot.com. George Boston, I am doing what we do because somebody got to do it. Bye-bye. We gone.